Hi guys, Stepchild of the Sun here, and I've got Captain Psychology sitting next to me, and we are obviously playing Half-Life 2 today. Um, unlike some of our, or all of our previous ones, this is not a blind one. I've played and beat this game many times. Well, we've done a few other ones that weren't blind. Like, Which, huh? Which ones? Uh, well, I, I did, um... The uh, Sims Medieval, and uh, we did Battletoads. Well, Battletoads are only played once before, but that's what i And then I did play a little bit of Sophie's Curse before I started it on the channel. Yeah, fair enough. Okay, yeah. so, let us start. Yeah, we had actually already recorded some of this, um, and ended up having to scrap the majority of all of it because we were having a buttload of audio issues, if you couldn't tell from the video that I had posted a couple of days ago. Yeah. So hopefully this will be really the first video potentially up where the sound problems are fixed. Yeah. So, we're, let us begin. Yes, I know. Yeah, and you've, you've played this one completely through a couple of times. Mm -hmm. I've never actually beaten this game before. I have played it, um, but I never actually finished it. I got I don't I don't know whether I got halfway through. I don't know at what percentage I was at. <laughs> Half Life Two. Rise and shine, Mr. Freeman. Rise and shine. Not that I wish to imply you have been sleeping on the job. No one is more deserving of a rest. And all the I effort in the world would have all. gone to waste until, well, just let's just ago. say your hour. I has didn't like. I no like end. when we saw it then. I didn't remember it at all. Mm -hmm. Like, did I skip it the first time? The right mm -hmm. man in the wrong place can make all the difference. Like I remember in the, world. the opening gameplay. So wake up, Mr. Freeman. Wake up and smell the ashes. But I don't remember that dude. Yeah, that's he's called the Key Man. He's all through the first Half Life and in this one. Um, but yeah, this is Half Life Two. Um, I didn't see you get on. Chances old, are old, good. Pretty much the majority of. Every gamer ever will recognize this, considering it came out in 2004. Um, and good chance the majority of you guys have either seen it or played it or at least heard of it. Oh. Um, or at least heard us make jokes about Half Life 3, and it's an inevitable, uh, well, never uh, existence. Yeah, we also, if this does good and everyone likes it, might also do episodes 1 and 2 of Half-Life 2. Um, yeah, those I never played. <coughs> yeah, they're pretty fun. Um, I skipped right to uh, to this one. Yeah, that guy's face looks really jacked up. I don't remember if it looked like that in any yeah. other We're actually playing this on the Xbox One. one. Whereas yeah, this when I is played the, it the first time, I did it on the uh, 360. Yeah, this is the um, orange box. They recently did a um, one of those compatibility upgrades so that you can play it on the Xbox One. So hopefully that won't give us any trouble. Um, we did have some issues with that when we had the uh, compatibility upgrade for... Welcome. For, um, what was it, Ultimate Alliance 2? Um, so hopefully we won't have any of those issues with this one. Yeah, it's a pretty old saw game. Now, obviously a lot of people are like, I'm playing on the Xbox, but the PC's superior. Yeah, but... Our I... PC's kind of crap, and we plan on buying a house in the very coming future, so we're kind of trying to save up money. Um, so unfortunately buying a new gaming computer is... Probably, mm, it's not really high on our list at the moment. About that beer I owed you. It would be wonderful, it's me, Gordon but Barney from Black Mesa. Hey, 
sorry for the scare. I had to put yeah, on like, a show see, his face looks fine, but the other dude, I yeah. guess because he just it's wasn't as important on NPC, they didn't care quota. as much. Yes, Though I'm pretty I sure his back shouldn't I'm have bent that way. Sorry, Doc, but look who's here. That was almost like girl levels of backbreaking. Yeah, so, um, other than fixing our sound, the other stuff we've been up to lately is playing lots and lots of Pokemon. Cap has pretty much finished his entire ver uh, his entire game. Um, we've been playing Sun and Moon, obviously. Uh, Cap's got Moon and I've got Sun, because I thought, um, the... Um, a low end version of Vulpix was super cute, so I, I insisted that I had to get Sun version. Which is funny because I got Vulpix first. first because. Through GTS. Yeah. In fact, I even got the mascot before she did. Yeah. He got he got freaking. So, what, how, do you, how do you say it? Solio? Soglio? He got a freaking so, Soglio in GTS for what was it? A, star, a level 1 starter? Yeah, I think it was like a it's little one Papillon. I, I I don't know why you would trade a legendary po <laughs> a legendary Pokemon for a level well, one. Remember, you can get you get two mascots in the game if you can find the secret Cosmo. It's still a legendary for a level one, and it wasn't even like it wasn't even like a shiny level one starter or like one with uh, uh, it wasn't one with like perfect EVs or anything. I don't think it was. Um, you kind of missed there. Mm-hmm. Uh, at least you got it in that time. Yeah. Yeah, but, um, so funny like, thing is, I got the Soglio, um, and then that shiny box, then, so to speak, and, but I can't get a Slow King through GTS. Yeah, uh, he managed to, I don't, I don't know how many of you people follow me on Twitter, which you totally should, because I post some hilarious stuff, it's awesome, um... He got. He managed to get his. Uh, what was it? Level, like a level eighty-six Pessimian yep. through GPS Shiny. for a a level one starter. Yeah, and like I just said, it was a shiny. We checked every a way. Shiny, level eighty-six Pessimian from what was it like Japan or something? Yeah, I'm thinking it was a mistake, and the guy had not meant to send it to me, and meant to send me like a level one Pessimian, or just another one. Because why would you trade a level 86 shiny Passimian for a level 1 guy? Um, so I'm guessing it was an error on his part, or their part, which is unfortunate for them. Beneficial to me, because that's the first shiny I've ever gotten. <laughs> other than that red Gyarados, which everyone gets well, in yeah, Soul that, Silver. That doesn't over. really count. I mean... There's some people out there who are going to point well, that out. Well, I mean, it's, it's scripted, though. Everybody gets that one. Yeah, it's like a participation well, trophy. Well, okay, yeah. Yeah, but it, it, it's exciting. Um, I just got to the, like, Aether Island thing, and oh my god, the president chick in that place is, like, crazy creepy. And no spoilers, but I think she's totally up to some shady shenanigans. Um... Obviously, other than the bit where those guys in white were chasing Lily at the beginning of the game, um, I I feel I just get weird vibes off them, and no no person that smiles like that chick does is ever up to anything good. Um, yeah. So I'm I'm very far behind in the game just because I get very distracted by the uh, the Pokemon Refresh game and breeding and and catching Pokemon and, and Wonder Trade and whatnot. Yeah, she basically doesn't play the game. I I play, I just get distracted. Yeah, but once you get the main game out of the way, everything you want to do you can do without distraction from the story. Well, yeah, that's true. I did actually com uh, complain about that a lot in, um... Ow, you're getting shot a little bit there. Complain about that a lot in, in Cameo, that, um... The, uh, the... The story does kind of... Drag on a, a fair amount. Like, they... 
they force that out a lot. Like, they... Ouch. Okay. Just a little, uh... Was that really necessary to drag the, uh, the ball gun up with you? There? Um... Were you expecting to hit him with it? Yeah. Ow. No, you don't. That's very bright. Yeah, like, there is no need to really drag that out as far as they do. Dr. Freeman, I presume. And it, it's very frustrating. Like, I would rather just get on with the game and, and catch my Pokemon. And, wow, she wiped the floor with those dudes. Really? Does she even have, like, a gun with her? I didn't um. see. Uh, I'm Alex Vance. No, but Father I think she normally does. Black Mesa. I'm sure you don't or is that though. is that like a health pack on her hip or what? Man, a few words, aren't you? Oh, hard. Hmm. Okay. I'm just gonna assume that she's an ultra badass and used kung fu to kick their butts. Yeah, she is until we have to do escort missions later. Remember him, Black <laughs> Mesa? Your Lovely. Administrator. That would suck. <laughs> don't get my dad started on Doctor Breen. Yeah, one thing, there is a small, I'm not sure if it's the game itself or my controller or me being uh, not as great at this stuff, but for some reason I have trouble going through doors. I keep running yeah. into the door frame. Yeah, he he claims it's the controller feels very different from the 360. I'm not sure whether it's that or if it's like a weird glitch in them updating it to the, um, updating the, the game from mm -hmm. the 360 to the Xbox One. Like, if they decided that Gordon Freeman needed shoulder pads or something. Because that's what it does seem like. It does seem like the doors are just slightly mm -hmm. narrower. Oh. For whatever reason. Also, don't expect this to be like a completionist run or a super serious me oh no we're totally gonna talk over all these cutscenes because everybody has seen this shit before yeah if you want one of those ultra ones there are undoubtedly eight million people who have done this before very much more seriously than we have with a much more detailed uh focus on the story mm -hmm. it really is you isn't it i found him wandering around outside Bit of a troublemaker, isn't it? Yeah. We owe a great deal. I almost crapped my pants the first time I realized what the hell was in that uh that doggy carrier. I must say, talents are hard. Yeah. yeah, that's it's messed up. Let's just see if this What's thing works, up? okay? Well, the thing that's here. in the doggy carrier. Oh, the head crap? Yeah. Heady Lemar. I, I, I actually didn't realize that until you pointed it out. Keep him here long time. Oh, yeah. It didn't occur to me. If you play with this enough, it breaks. That's why yeah. I'm doing Oh, you should uh, look at the um, the photos on the side, too. I still have nightmares about that cat. No, no. There's nothing to be nervous about. We've made major strides since then. Wait, I didn't I didn't hear the bit about the cat. Oh. Did he splice a cat? That's nasty. What's going on Harry Potter when you screw up splitching? Uh, yeah, that's what I said. Split or splitching? Was that what it was called? Ugh, when you leave half of it on one yeah. side of the room and the other half somewhere else. What could be like Star Trek and turn you inside out? Or when when like two people uh, go at the same time and and mix them up or something? Oh yeah, she's just she's gonna try and fuck your brain. That's okay. And he wants her on his head. Oh, she's been de beaked. It's still gross. He actually lets her on his head? That's well, messed up. Some people, like, think the same way when dogs lick your face. It's it's not the same. It's very much not the same. Your dog is not trying to eat you. It is if he rams you folding. That's... no. No. Mm, no. Uh, that's a Game of Thrones joke. Uh, ah, I broke it. Yes, That weird noise was me uh, drinking the last of my yoo mm -hmm. Yes, when I have to drink, I move away from the mic. <laughs> so you guys don't hear me. Somebody likes to just make you hear all the gross, disgusting sounds.
That was a weird ominous noise. I like the popular scientist thing, that's cool. Oh, is that thing covered in blood? What that's the? nasty, that elevator he just took up. Could be, what do you think happened to the cat? Oh! Oh, the poor cat! Oh! Oh, that's horrible. The poor kitty. Oh, that's horrible. Mm -hmm. Oh, speaking of horrible, I there have been some awful. Oh, you're putting subtitles on. No, I'm adjusting. Um, oh. Some sound a little. Can barely hear them. Yeah. There have been some absolutely horrific. Um, Indeed, it is, and it's our intention to send him packing straight horrific. away. Horrific. Um. Are you ready for a step? Entries in the Pokedex. Lately, in in this version, the um, oh, what was it, S Sandy Gast? Mm -hmm. Oh my goodness! It's supposed to be cute. It evolves into a sandcastle. It's supposed to be adorable, except it's infested with the ghosts of angry souls. It's made by like the the hands of happy children. What's infested by angry spirits? What the frick? Game freak. It's a ghost. None of the ghost Pokemon have pleasant. I know. I know. But why? It's just as bad as uh, Duel of Sky or the final evolution of um, Owlet probably dies when he evolves. I mean, it is a ghost. Owlet. Don't you say that crap. No. He is he's like a shaman that can like see into the spirit world. Yeah, that's what don't, don't you say that shit. My starter did not fucking die. I died for your sins. Shut up. I can't take all the credit. Dr. Freeman proved an able Don't you say that crap. Good job, Gordon. He is like he he is a wise old bird. All right, buddy. Who can Order. can see Gee, to thanks. the other side? He can and see past the veil. We'll That's what it is. And not a moment too soon. Because he's dead and is on Shut the other side of the veil. Up. Excellent. Initializing in three. You're not two, funny. One. It's not. Is no. Uh, mm -mm. So also, there, whatever yes, sick person at Game Freak. Yeah, we know the batteries are low. Best of luck. We we have to like cannibalize them from some other controller somewhere here. Give them the Wii remote and I'll take them out of there. Um. Ow! Lamar! You're gonna kill me! Um. The, whatever sick person at Game Freak decided to write gang what, what was it? Gangars. Um, Pokedex entry Are you? this year Get in here. either needs, like, therapy or an award. <laughs> the one where it's like, if, if, if you hear a Gengar coming, it's already too late. Give up hope. Gordon Freeman. Blow, 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 blow. Oh, shit. oh crap! He didn't come through. Then where is he? Behind you. I see you. Shut it down. Shut it down. You must get out of yeah. here. Okay, so I have managed to get batteries out of the Wii remote. So, after this recording, we can replace them. Mm hmm. If they still work. They should. We used enough to lock them. Yeah, like I like the game. It's awesome. I, I I I do really enjoy it. I feel like the pacing could use some work, but I do really uh, enjoy which it. Which game about? So Pokemon. Pokemon. No, this game is great. I I have very little that I found wrong with this game. The only okay, that's a lie. I don't like the racing part. I don't like the driving parts. But to be fair, of all of the driving parts of every game that I've ever been in, this is hey, like Gordon. the least annoying. The Citadel's on full alert. I've never seen it lit up like that. 
Get out of City 17 as fast as you can, Gordon. Take the old canals, right? They'll get you to Eli's lab. It's, it's a dangerous route, but there's a whole network of refugees, and they'll help you if they can. I'd come with you, but I gotta look after Dr. Kleiner. Oh, and before I forget, I think you dropped this back in Black Mesa. Hey, hey, call back. Good luck out there, buddy. You're gonna need it. Because mm -hmm. I, I don't think the racing part, uh, or the driving part, was actually the reason I stopped playing this. I think the reason I stopped playing it was you just... I just made it pass for the first real racing... Or, yeah, I, not I, really racing, I, I actually vehicle. stopped in... I stopped in... What was Ravenholm. it? Ravenholm. I stopped in the creepy part. Yeah. Yeah, we stopped in Ravenholm. We don't go to Ravenholm. Yeah. Yeah, you only got a third way through because you didn't even make it to Nova Prospect, which is a pretty big area. I don't know what that means. It's a another section of the game. See, there's sections. Like, right now we're in City 17. Uh, and then we go to... Yeah. After City 17, uh, it's the coastal highways, I think. And then we go to, like, Nova Prospect. And then, um... You know none of that means anything to me. Oh, but people who are watching this might know what the heck I'm talking about. Oh, okay. Because they ain't news. Oh, okay. You're, oh, okay. You're talking to them. I'm talking to everybody who's listening. Oh. This isn't just a game for your amusement. Oh, well, I'm... Alright. But yeah, Nova Prospect, uh, you didn't make it that far. Because you didn't get the buggy or anything, so... You were actually pretty early in the game still. Yeah. So yeah, um, yeah, it's Nova Prospect, and then you go back to City 17 to basically liberate it, hmm. and then you attack the Citadel. So I think there's actually quite a bit. Yeah. But yeah, normally we don't play two um, games that everyone's been playing for a long time and all that kind of stuff, but we um. Well, we were we were looking at it. We couldn't figure out what game we wanted to play. We had so many that we couldn't choose from that uh, we were looking at some of our old games. We just, Cap just picked this one up and he's like, you know, I love this game. Let's play it. I'm just gonna play it. And we decided to, to play this one. Yep. It's like it's an oldie, it's a goodie. It's going. Well, interesting thing about the people in City 17, which you get if you watch and listen real well, but might not have always picked up. They actually uh, pump something into the atmosphere that prevents uh, humans from having sexual urges. Really? Yep. That is disturbing as hell. Yep, the Combine, who are the enemies, are basically trying to prevent humans from breeding and stuff. To make them extinct. That is absolutely horrific. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Is this Maybe. the train that killed you before? No. <laughs> yeah, we played a couple videos of this beforehand, but like I said, the audio was real bad. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try and salvage some of what I can because there were some funny scenes in there. Most of the funny scenes were him dying. <laughs> didn't die too often, but a lot of it's because I was just screwing Getting around. Getting cocky. Less cocky and more like just having fun. <laughs> This was this was the train that uh, jacked you up last time, I think. There's one here, yeah. Yeah. Ow. Oh shit! He was in a hidey hole there. Oh yeah. Whoa! Hi there, train. Hello. <laughs> Yeah, the train almost got you there again. I don't know, it seemed a little close. He's pretty dead. I guess so. Okay. This is actually a decent enough stopping point for this video. Um because it's just going to get action-packed from here on out for a while. Yeah. 
So it was lovely playing with you guys. Yeah, and like and subscribe and all that jazz. Leave comments. Um, so yeah, um, and we will be seeing you next time. Uh, yeah, enjoy.